Being on the blind, now blindness, according to a 74-year-old visually impaired mother, is not a barrier and should not be. Uh, Victoria Mauli Wonam is happy she has been able to successfully raise her five children, even though she is blind. Victoria Mauli Waname, 74 years, was not born blind. She lost her sight at age 9. But that did not deter her from aiming higher. She climbed the academic ladder until she became a professional teacher. Victoria retired as an assistant director of education in 2004. She is the first blind woman teacher in West Africa. Victoria found love and got married to George Mauli Waname, now 84 years. The two love birds have lived together for the past 49 years with five children. He's a teacher of the blind by then. And uh, when I came to teaching practice, fortunately, I went to his class. At the end of the teaching practice, he told me he wanted to marry me. I said, okay, if you want to marry me, then go and see my parents. Victoria said even though she doesn't know how her children look like, she knows them too well spiritually. Like any other woman, Victoria does her daily house chores all by herself. Blindness is nothing. It's just the sight which is not there, but if you are trained and you know what you want to do, you can do it like the same person. But what exactly inspired George Waname to go in for a visually impaired woman? I saw a guy reading Bible in the church. That was Children's Day. She read fluently. So I said, oh, who's a beautiful lady is blind like this? She came to my class uh, during teaching practice. So I felt uh, this uh, a type of lady I should choose to marry. He reiterated the fact that disability is not inability and has not regretted marrying Victoria. I like uh, Fufu because I come from the rural area. She cooks, uh, we come together and I found she tends and then prepare the soup and we enjoy everything. Now, with all their children married and away, the two live alone at Amasama in the Gang West municipality. The world a couple of days ago celebrated mothers and Victoria only depended on phone calls from her children because four out of the five children are not in the country. From Amasama, my name is Evelyn Tengman, TV3 News.